Our, our, is he here? Oh, it sounds I'm like give the right kind of music, Steve. 1-800-621-6083 oh. is our toll-free number, gang. Because I'm really pleased. and ple It's just going to be a pleasure. I'm, I'm going to have fun with this. He said, a brilliant career as an actor. He starred in such classics as Some Like It Hot, Houdini, The Great Race, and The Great <laughs> Imposter. Audio Jam Live is greatly honored by our next guest. And I'm kind of excited. So if you want to talk to Tony Curtis, give us a call now at 1-800-621-6083. That's 1-800-621-6083. And I'm just going to have a big salute to one of the biggest stars in Hollywood, Mr. Tony Curtis. Salute. Good morning, good morning. Good morning. Tony, how are you? Well, wonderful. I'm, I'm really, it's a pleasure to speak to you. Well, thank you. It's nice talking to you. I hear that voice, and you know what I hear? Uh, I hear, I hear all the movies that you've made. Yeah. You're, you're, you're really something. How many well, movies I, have you made? I've made about 120 movies in my life. What? And I'm many? only 12. I, I, me too. <laughs> well, some kid called up earlier and said I was 19. <laughs> some of real people said, hey, you look, now you look like 19. Well, I'll, I'll say the same thing. Well, how's it going this morning? It's going great. We're getting calls from all over the United States. Oh, that's wonderful. And uh, the phones are jammed now because I know kids do want to talk to you. But before we get to the lines, I, I have a few questions for you. You know, our theme today is on The Great Imposter. And you were the star of that movie, which I saw maybe five or six times. Mm -hmm. And uh, just a question for you. Did you have to do much research when you, when you made that one? I, uh, I'm more or less obligated to do research on any movie I'm on. Uh -huh. I'll tell you why. <clears throat> it's the researching that, that takes away all the doubts in your mind about the kind of character you're going to play. And so that when you get on the set, you're there's no anxiety. You're not nervous that you're not going to do the job right. If you research your part uh, properly enough, well, then all the details that you need to make it a living character are there. And there's nothing you can do that's going to diminish that. So you see, it almost serves you, it almost is imperative that the research is done. Because then you're able to bring a little special quality to something that um, can give you a lot of pleasure and enjoyment. If you don't do that, then an audience uh, only sees a generalization of what a man was like once. For very few people, if you examine it, ever knew what Fred DeMara was like. Uh -huh. You know, and so therefore... The more research you do, the more chance you give your audience. Like It's like those policemen who take those thumbnail sketches of people who have been robbers or thieves, and they take a quick sketch of them using the, uh, the details of what they look like from the people that uh, saw them. And that's all you end up with. You're kind of a rough sketch that isn't really the character and isn't really anybody. So what you had to try to do was really become Ferdinand Waldo de Mara. Yes. In the you, movie. you have to be the person. You can't, you can't pretend... And he can't act it. So that's, that's a tough Demara, for Demara, for me, had to be portrayed like that. You know something, Tony? Mm -hmm. uh, you, you also played in Houdini, yeah. uh, and you did some fantastic magic tricks. And I know that you are a magic buff. Yeah. Uh, that one trick that you did in the movie, yeah. uh, was did, did you do that, or was there a stuntman? Who, who no, no, I did all the stunts in that movie. You did all the stunts in there? Yes, all of them. That's incredible. Yes, that's, every one of them. That, uh, the one well, I, I, I wanted to, you know, not because of an ego trip, but I wanted to do it because that's the way you can um, um, contribute to a part. I mean, the way you jump out of a window is just as much you as sitting in a chair. And you always can tell the difference between the, the principal and the stuntman because they don't really move alike. They may look alike, but they don't move alike. Can I share something with you that happened with me? I, I, I was in the movie The Fury, and, and there was a, a, a ride that had to come crashing through a window. Now, I was sitting right next to the stuntman, right. and I, I was scared to death. I mean, here the stuntman was sitting next to me, and I knew this right. I had to go through the window. We had a jump at a certain point, right. and they had an ambulance on the scene. There was a, there, they had paramedics there. They had all these things, I guess, uh, these people waiting for something that yeah. may or may not occur. You probably also had to change the wardrobe, right? I did. I certainly did. Were you frightened at any time? Because I know I wasn't. I'm not a yeah. stuntman, and I'm not, I don't consider myself an actor. Yeah. Were you scared during any of those trips? I, I am. I'm scared. Not, not scared for any physical problems. Or scared not because I'm so brave either. Uh, it's just that um, you, you, you're not scared. You're just uh, apprehensive of the unknown. Will the stunt work? You're not so worried about who's going to get hurt so much. Uh, but, that you, but, good, but the good Lord's help, you only have to do it once. 
Uh huh. I know that you love kids, Tony. Yes. And I and I want to ask you one more question before we go to our calls. And let me give the toll free number, boys and girls. It's one eight hundred six two one six zero eight three. One eight hundred six two one six zero eight three. My guest is Tony Curtis. And uh, maybe your parents have a question, but I'm only going to let your parents on through you. So if your folks have a question, they're going to have to ask you to call. 1-800-621-6083. Did you encourage your daughter to become an actress? No, By the way, I didn't. Why, no, no, maybe, I didn't. maybe you can tell everybody who your daughter is so we know. Uh, Jamie Lee Curtis is her name. And Jamie Lee Curtis played in Halloween. Was it Halloween 3? Yeah, there was just, there's more Halloweens than there are uh, ghosts. More Halloweens than the movies you made. Yeah, right. Anyway, did you encourage her to be an actress? No, I didn't. Uh -huh. I don't I'd encourage. I don't encourage any of my children in any endeavors. What I what I try to do is give them all of the uh, facts and the researches and all the wherewithal to do it. Then uh, they take it and it's their instinct and their desire to do it. I, I don't uh, think it's a wise uh, idea to tell friends, anybody, young people, old people, to encourage them to do things because. It's not good for a young person. A young person makes, should make his own uh, choices from all of the details that has been fed him. And so when Jamie Lee announced that she was going to try to get into movies, I said I thought that was a good idea. Great. She didn't ask me if she if she could have permission, and why should she? You know. That's good advice. And I I, I said go ahead, go give it a shot. I'll encourage any child, anybody, to give it a shot, whatever they want to be, even a lion tamer. Is it kind of strange seeing your your own daughter up on the screen there? I should okay. ask. You, I should say, is it, is it is it kind of strange seeing yourself up on the screen? Well, it it, it is different, but I tell you, it's um, it's another person up there. Uh huh. You know, like when I watch myself on a movie, that's another person. I you know I can't relate to it. Uh huh. You know, but I'm certainly proud it's my daughter Jamie. Great. Great. Let's go to the telephones right now. We're going to go to Ohio. Actually, let's go to Wisconsin first. Hold on, Tony. And let's go to Wisconsin and conference you in with uh, with Jay, who's calling all the way from Wisconsin. You're on the air with Tony Curtis, Jay. You have a question? Yeah. Um, I just wanted how he started his career. What did you say, Jay? I wanted how you started your career. Well, I started my career when, um, when I, w I was in the Navy. When the Navy uh, was over, I went and I went to an acting school in New York City because the GI Bill of Rights allowed me that privilege so I wouldn't have to go out into the gutters and try to get a job. So I had a chance of six months or 18 months of just uh, being laid back and see if I could make it as an actor. That government, our, our government of the United States was, was kind enough to give all of us war veterans at that time a chance to study acting in a private school and see if that's what we wanted to do, if that's what you, you were after. So I was privileged that I didn't have to go out and try to make a living right away. Jay, are you interested in becoming an actor? I'm sorry? Uh, Jay, are you interested in becoming an actor? I don't know. I don't really have any talent for acting. Well, how do you know you don't, Jay? Uh, don't you fool your mother once in a while? <laughs> I don't know. It's... Well, don't you? Don't you tell a little story once in a while somebody gets yeah, in trouble? Yeah, I do. And don't you get away with it? Yeah. Well, there you're one of the great actors of our time. <laughs> if I had an Oscar, I'd give it to you. Great. Thanks for calling, Jay, yeah, from thanks. Wisconsin. Let's, uh, let's see who... I think it's from California. Good morning. You're on the air. No, nope. well, California calls out. Let's go to Carolyn. Good morning, Carolyn. Good morning. Good morning. You're on the air with Tony Curtis. Okay. I like to act myself too, and uh, I would like to know how was this discovered? Wait a minute. There seems to be a problem with our telephones here. We'll get this fixed. Uh, let's go to uh, Peter. Peter. Hello. Hi. You're Hi. on the air with Tony Curtis. Um. Hello. Who is this, please? This is Peter. Did you ever get hurt during? Hello, the Peter. Where are you from? Did you ever get hurt during wait, the... Wait, wait. No, Peter, where are you from? Oh, Wooddale, Illinois. Okay, give it to me, Peter. Oh, Wooddale. Well, did you ever get hurt during one of your own films? Did I ever what? Get, get hurt during one of your own films. Yes, I did. I once fell off a car. You fell... I, I, I would have been seriously injured, but I was fortunate enough to fall on my head. Oh. <laughs> But you survived. Yes, I survived. Thank goodness you survived, because yes. you work with such greats as Marilyn Monroe. And who are some of the other people that you've worked with? Oh, Gregory Peck, Cary Grant, Frank Sinatra. And these are people that kids that are listening might not know, but I know there are lots of Jack adults Lemon, out there. Marilyn Monroe, Natalie Wood, uh -huh. George C. Scott, Walter Matthau, 
to name a few. What about the future, Tony? What do you what do you have planned for uh, over the next few years? Oh, just get through the day one by one. That's me too. Yes, right. I've, I'm with I, you. I've made 130 movies in my life out of 35 years. What was your favorite? Uh, oh, I don't have any favorites. Yeah. All my pictures are my like I like my children. You I like can't your... pick a favorite. Great, you great. Know. Hold the line. Let's go to. We're going to go to uh, California. I hope this works now. Hi there, California. Megan. Okay, our California line seems to be uh, jamming up here, but we'll we'll try, we'll try to get that question through. Megan, what's your question for Tony Curtis? I I want to know how. Hello. He, um, Can you hear me? I I wanted to know how he. Well, you ask, you talk. Uh, Megan, talk to Tony. He's right here with us. I'm where, sorry. This is Megan, Tony. Hello, Megan. Tell me, where are you calling from? Redwood City. Redwood City, California. Redwood City. Is that near you, Tony? Yeah, I know where Redwood. So, well, there we are. Now, look, we go call all the way to Chicago, back here to L.A. to talk. Isn't that great? Yeah, wonderful. Okay, go ahead, Megan. Um, I was wondering how you stayed alive in that big water tank in the Houdini. Did you hear that? No. How you stayed alive in that big water tank in the movie Houdini. Yeah, right. How you survived. By holding my breath. How many minutes? I held my breath for a minute and 14 seconds. How many takes? We did it once. <laughs> <laughs> How many takes did you say you would do it in? I told them I would do it once for them. If they didn't get it, then they'd never get it. That's great. Oh, great. Thanks for calling, Megan. I'm lined up with calls here, Tony. I, I want to thank you. I have to I have to thank you because I want to move on. One of the biggest stars in Hollywood, Tony Curtis, has been my guest this morning. Uh, brilliant career as an actor, and I mentioned earlier starring in such classics as Some Like It Hot, Houdini, The Great Race, The Great Imposter. Audio Jam Live was really honored to have you on today, Thank Tony. You. It's a privilege and an honor, and my best to all my friends. Thank you so much, Mr. Tony Curtis. Bye-bye.